Good morning, everyone, and I am about to lose my mind. We just waited an hour for guest relations when you do not have your new hire ticket yet. So like, how long did he say it was gonna be now? I don't. I did not hear at all what he said to us. Two weeks. Two weeks, we have to. We have a two week pass. Yeah. Okay, so basically, before you get your new hire ticket, you have to go to guest relations before you can get into the park, which takes a ridiculously long time. Epcot is the worst, because it's all in the sun. You just have to stand there and wait before you can even get in. So we got here at like 10, and it's now almost 12. That's how long it has taken us to actually enter the park. We are still not inside yet. It's been absolutely crazy. So definitely, when you're just starting, be prepared to like not get here and knock it in right away. If you want to do rope drop, come like, 7 a.m. because it takes a while. Welcome to Epcot though. We are now inside. I'm gonna grab a festival passport. Thank you. Something that is also super cool about today is today is one of the last days the full, I don't remember what these are called, the things with the photos on them, they're gonna start removing them today or this weekend. So it's kind of interesting that this is the actual last day that we're gonna see Epcot fully like this. Flower and Garden is in full motion though. As you can see, we haven't seen it yet even though it's almost over because we just got here. Um, I'm not sure where we're headed right now. I believe we're gonna go through World Showcase. Look at all the people in World Daisy. Showcase. Daisy, aw. It has been a rough, rough morning trying to get here, so I'm gonna get a margarita. Fun fact, fast passes drop randomly throughout the day at specific times. Animal Kingdom was 11.30 yesterday. We think Epcot's gonna be noon, and it's about like, uh, 11 50 right now. We think it's good. Well, they're just right on the drink. That smells really good. That's corn. Ooh. Oh, the chocolate pudding terrarium is apparently really good. Yeah. So this is a fiesta margarita. It's made of all three flavors of the margaritas that they have in Mexico combined. So there is the lime one on top, strawberry, and then like this mango one as well. We are entered into Mexico. Paige has some food. She got some corn. Natalie got her violet lemonade. It's very busy in the parks today. Very, very busy. We came to Norway. Norway's always so pretty. And it smells real good. Just found her little model corner. I'm never leaving. I love China. China is honestly one of my favorite places in Epcot to go. I love all the shopping there. Um, there's some really cute things. You know, when I am walking around the world, I always start with Mexico first. That is always just the way it goes. I don't know a lot of people that start with Canada, but comment down below, which place do you go to first when you go to Epcot? Do you go around to Mexico or do you go the other way to Canada? They sell these fans in China and Japan, actually the same ones, but they're way cheaper in China. They're super cheap and they actually are really, really helpful in the weather. When you're low key, very lightweight, and this already makes you feel tipsy. Oh, these are cool. I almost All the plants. Oh, there's a banana plant. Oh, I love the little cactuses. Lucky bamboo. Ha ha ha. A Venus flytrap. Yes, I love it. Should get one of those and hopefully they'll eat the love bugs. Jeez, that would be bold. Germany! Germany always kind of reminds me of home. We have this huge Oktoberfest celebration at home. Um, in October usually, Oktoberfest. Um, and it always reminds me of home because everything here is extremely Oktoberfest related. And it's just like a huge, huge thing. I live in a very German community at home. Do you guys know about the pickle tree? Yes! I love the pickle tree. So basically the tradition is where you get a pickle and it I, it was like a really old tradition. I don't know if they use a real pickle or a pickle ornament or whatever. But you get one pickle and you hide it on the tree and it's the kid's job every Christmas morning to find the pickle. And whoever finds the pickle gets an extra present. Cute. Bye Margarita. Highly recommend the Mexico Margaritas. They have quite a bit of alcohol in them to be honest. Um, definitely could taste that and uh, definitely can feel that. If you are American, a lot of you are American, what is this supposed to be a building of? I don't think it's the White House. It's not no, very white. It's definitely not the White House. Nope. Uh, let us know in the comments below. Pikachu! <laughs> these dishes, do they work really well? I've heard these dishes work really well. Both me and my roommate have them. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm actually in love with these. They're so cute. I would totally buy one. I might get I, a mini bag from here. Oh my god, they're so cute. Yeah. They're like 50 bucks though. They're not that bad. Cat stuff.
stuff. I love cats. We are now headed to one of my favorite quick service restaurants and pages too. And Natalie, I don't think you've really, I've never been, no. But it is France. It is kind of in the back, so not a lot of people find it. Um, there's a little bit of indoor seating, a little bit outdoor. We're hoping for the indoor. We better get the indoor because it is hot out today. Um, they have the best, like they have like sandwiches you can get heated up so it's all melty and like really good and the best. Look at that beauty in the beast topiary. That is so pretty. This is what it is called. I cannot pronounce it, but they have Okay, that's how you pronounce it. This is what I got from France. It doesn't look that appetizing, but I it is gonna be really good. I've had it before. It's a croque monsieur and I just got a cup of water. Paige, you got a cup of water too, and what's that called? Um la tarte fromage. It's just a lot of cheese and bread. Okay. And then I got the um, raspberry macaron. Delicious. We just ran into Belle and I missed getting it on camera. She's Allison, so sweet. She wished us a wonderful rest of our day. We wish her one back. Um, she was so sweet. Hello. Hello. Oh my god. These are cute. Look at Tigger and Piglet Muir. These are so cute. This looks nothing like Canada, but I love it anyway. It's so beautiful. I love all the flowers. We have a little while before our fast passes for Test Track are up. Um, so we're gonna go take some photos. There is the galaxy wall over here, or better known as the Kyle Palo galaxy is wall. Kyle Palo anyway? Natalie has no idea. I watch his vlogs, I like his vlogs. Um, so we're gonna go take some photos with that next. Kyle Palo also does this thing in front of the wall where uh, when you get to the wall, you have to dance. What? I didn't know this. Pardon me. <laughs> that we're sitting on the grass, can we tell them that we're uh, living with the land? <laughs> We get a group car. Yay. Wow. Woo, let's go. Wow, look at that car. When you want to drive that car? miraculous spaceship we are now riding a spaceship ride. okay so we just took the boat to the boardwalk so that's where we are now but it's a really long walk and I don't think we should walk so if you guys want to come over here I'm thinking we should park hop. oh okay, you see. ready so we're gonna hop to Hollywood Studios okay one two three hey look who it is it's time for dinner, and guess where we're going? Pizza Rizzo! <laughs> Shout out to Jenny and Claire. Guys. Literally. For loving it just I don't think Claire food. ever ate there. Oh, I don't think so. I think it was we're, just we're, us we're and Danny. Members, so we get the sneak peek at Galaxy's Edge, and we get to try the food first, so that's where we're going. Oh, yeah, that's it. I wish. We love Pizza Rizzo so much. It just reopened, like, a couple weeks ago. It was closed for, like, seasonally. It's back open for the summer. I'm so excited. I love Pizza Rizzo. And we're back upstairs in the party room at Pizza Rizzo. Got pizzas, peach bellinis, we're all set to go. I think I've mentioned this before, but I have never seen any Star Wars movies at all. Like Zip, Zero, None, I have no idea. I know uh, BB-8's little round one, I know R2-D2's the other robot. No. The little brown one, he's The little orange. round one. I think he said brown. No, I said brown. No. Um, and then C-3PO is the gold like robot guy. That's C-3PO. Uh, the, club, the crowds are kind of slowing down, but the wait time seems to still be pretty, pretty bad. So we decided to come over to this new area that just came out. Um, it is the Cars area, Lightning McQueen's show of something. Um, it's supposed to be just like a show. I haven't heard a lot of like great reviews on it, but we need to try it out because we have so much time here since we are in the parks basically every single day that we really do want to try everything while we are here. So this is brand new. We thought it would be a great opportunity to try it out. Kids were loving it, but uh, 
definitely not for the adult population. I'm really mad because they didn't include anything for cars too, and that's my favorite movie. Yeah, I'm that really mad we didn't get that big pile of cash. Yeah, true. Not available in Orlando, Florida, please. To give it one good thing, the animatronic was pretty cool. Oh yeah, it was. Oh, a, yeah, definitely. Was the animatronic awesome. was definitely really cool. It was more or less the storyline. <laughs> Is there a storyline is the real question. It's more of, these people were in cars, eventually. So, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that was... If you take away anything, it's that racing isn't about speed. It it's not about, about the player. It's not about crossing the finish line. It's about, it's about the people you meet the along journey. the way. The cars, I'm sorry. Natalie and Paige decided to go on Rock and Roller Coaster. Me and Megan are here. We're gonna get seats for Fantasmic. We're just gonna get them really early. Probably gonna get copywritten because this music is insanely loud tonight. I don't remember being this loud. Very loud. Um, but we're just gonna get seats, chill, sit down for a bit. Just going and going. 